I was terrified of sharks. To overcome that fear, I got the opportunity to get into the water with them. I did my first scuba dive with bull sharks. I fell in love with them. And that was a life-changing moment for me. I was about 16 years old, and I needed to understand more about them. Why are they not eating me? <laughs> Why are they not showing me any threat or no harm? I needed to understand more. And the only way to do that was to study them. So that's how I became a marine biologist. So my most unforgettable encounter with a shark would be my first time in the cage with a great white shark. That was just, uh, that animal exceeded all my expectations. And I've always known that they were really big, but the, the girth rather than the length was to me, all that still blows my mind every time I see one. I have been bitten by a pajama shark. Uh, it hasn't left any scars, luckily I had gloves on. I was assisting the aquarium in some of their feeding and my hands got a little bit too close, but it was, it was my error, not the sharks. If I had to choose a species of shark that I would like to be, it would probably be the great white shark. It's just something really appealing about being the top of the, the food chain. The thing that fascinates me most about the great white shark is their breaching behavior. The ability for an animal of that size to launch itself completely out of the water to catch their, their prey, uh, that to me is, is the most fascinating thing. And I, I think a lot of other sharks do breach, but not quite like the great whites. So. My most memorable experience with great whites would be the day, back in the day, when we still had an abundance of them around False Bay. I remember one day in particular where we saw 14 breaches in one morning and then still anchored up our boat and managed to tag four individuals after seeing at least seven different sharks around our boat. And it was crystal clear water. It was absolutely perfect. It was like something, something out of a dream. So that's probably my favorite day out with the Great White. So some of my hobbies outside of shark research include free diving. I love getting into the water and just being able to explore the kelp forests. Um, I also am an avid scuba diver in my work, but also at play, I spend a lot of time under the water. But I'm also an open water swimmer. So again, <laughs> in the water, swimming um, long distances in particular. I like exploring new areas and taking on different challenges. And then lastly, I'm a trail runner. So long distance ultra trail running. So mountains and oceans, that's where I spend most of my free time. It's important to, be, to study the behavior of sharks as with any research, the more we know about them, the more information we have, the more we can conserve and protect them. And it's also important for people to, to change negative perceptions on sharks. If we have a good understanding of them, people want to conserve them. So the more we know, the more we understand, the better we can educate others and work towards conservation.